In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3.2 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2023. I'll be doing all this on the board. Hopefully, it'll be a lot like you're used to your teacher doing in a classroom. If you want other questions from this paper, you should be able to find it in a playlist in the description below. And if you find any of my videos uh, useful, I'd greatly appreciate liking, subscribing, or even sharing it to a friend sitting the exams this year or next. In question three, we need to, um, we need to uh, deal with a, an equation involving complex numbers and a modulus. Now, um, this question, I've had a bit of difficulty thinking on how to show you this question because I can do this question in 20 or 30 seconds and the description of how I do it is, is pretty short as well. But I'm guessing if any students watching this video right now, they had trouble with this question and they probably had trouble with the explanation that they seen on other YouTube videos or, uh, or by teachers because it was equally short. Basically, if you're able to do this question, you're not watching this video. So I am gonna take my time doing this. It's probably gonna get a lot longer than it needs to be. Like I said, this could be a one or two minute video, but I'm gonna take my time. Um, so bear with me on that. First of all, I want to define the modulus. The modulus is, uh, let's use X1 plus uh, Y1 I. So a, just a number, like two, actually, let's not use any letters. Let's keep it a bit simpler. Whatever you put in this, let's say two plus three i. All the modulus does is it squares this number, squares this number, so two squared, squares the number in front of the i plus three, three squared, and it gets the square root of it. That's what a modulus does. It also, you can think of that as the distance to zero. Okay, that's the first thing I want you to realize. And you're, you're expected just to remember this. You don't have to prove this in an exam. The next thing you're expected to just remember, just know that a, a, a complex number, Z in this case, just like up here, minus some other complex number, two plus three I again, that just means the distance Z to this guy the distance between these two complex numbers. And so let's say it's equal to two. So the distance between these two is equal to two. That's all that means. And I can, we can prove that. We could say that the first complex number is x1 plus y1, uh, sorry, y1i. And the next complex number could be x2 plus y2i. Just two complex numbers. And then instead of writing it this way, we just need to do one tricky thing and just let's turn this into one complex number. And what I mean by that is take the real part of this x1 minus the real part of this guy, x1 minus x2, and then um, the complex parts, y1 minus y2, i. So that um, instead of a complex number minus a complex number, what we have is, one complex number now. So we know how to get the modulus of that. The first one squared plus the second one squared, uh, square root. So let me just do that up here. The first guy squared is x1 minus x2 um, plus the second guy squared, y1 minus y2 and the square root. And that's the distance. So when I said the distance between two complex numbers, like there's a proof to it. But again, you're expected to just know that. That's where what I'm gonna do over here comes from. So I just wanted to prove some of this, uh, not, like so, not like a perfect proof or anything. You can go look in the book for that. I just wanted to give you an idea. When I say the distance between two complex numbers, I'm not just making it up, there is a proof to it. Um, and you are expected to remember that. So when you're dealing with complex numbers, you're expected to remember a simple one, or modulus of complex numbers, is the distance to the origin. Two complex numbers, which is what we have here, is the distance between them. Especially when they're wrote like complex number minus another one. 
And you might say, well, that's not what we have here, but it is. Z minus minus three plus two i equals two. We have Z minus a complex number. It's just have to change it slightly. This, these two are identical. And what you are expected now going into the exam is complex number minus a complex number is the distance between them. So we can start drawing this now. Z, we don't know where Z is, it could be anywhere. Think of millions of dots, they could be anywhere. This guy we can draw though. Minus three plus two i. Minus three, let's put in minus three. And plus two i. Uh, let's put it down more here, two i. And that'll give us this, this point here. Minus three plus two i. And what this says is there's a point for Z. So is Z here, is Z here, is Z here. There's a point for Z and it's two away from this guy. So two, think of just two distance, either two I distance or two real number distance. The, the modulus of that is just two then. So hopefully you can see that this point is two away. Zero to two I. That's distance of two away. Maybe this point here is two away. This point up here is two away. This point, oh, so all of these satisfy Z. And they told us um, to sketch the locus of points representing Z. Locus of points just means many points. Think of uh, the insects, so locus. So many points, there's more of them then. This is two away, this is two away. All of these are two away. And what do we get? Well, my drawing is pretty bad, but we get a circle. And this question is very common, comes up all the time. And that's, what they, that's the answer to three part A. They want us to draw this sort of circle here. Let me clean that up a bit, maybe. Logo, like there's millions of these. So basically it's just a circle, you don't need all the dots. You should draw in a line, your compass, draw a circle. Um, yeah, that's, that's the answer to uh, three part A. So sorry for waffling on, it was just as short as doing this, I just, I wanted to help out the student that maybe this wasn't enough for. Okay, let me have a look at part B. Part B then gets um, a bit tricky as well. Part, especially if you couldn't do part A. Uh, I'm not sure how you could do part B in fact. Uh, part B says find the least value for uh, the modulus of Z. I'm sorry as well, my twos and Zs look alike. So I hope, that's, I hope I've not messed up anywhere. Um, so they, they want the least value of the modulus of Z. Now just think of what that means. All of these dots I drew are Z. They're all possible Zs. And they want to know what's the least modulus of them. And remember what modulus is. It's the distance to the center. So hopefully it's clear that it's not these guys. It's, it's one of these guys in here close. That's the one you're looking for. And the trick here is to, to know that it's along this line. And you can see why if you think about the tangent to the circle of this line. Um, if you think of the tangent like that, clearly there's no other point closer than that point. Um, everywhere else on the line is further away and everywhere on the circle is even further than the line. So um, at least that's how I, I think of that one. So it's this line here that's of interest to us. And they want to know which Z, which dot is the least. In fact, drawing this line would get you, pro I think, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing, but it would get you one of these two marks. Just going, oh, there it is. You wanted, the, you wanted Z, the least Z? There it is. That's an answer. Uh, but <laughs> it's not quite enough. Sorry, they wanted the least uh, modulus as well. So still, you might get one for this. And the secret here is to think of this triangle. Let me draw it a bit bigger here. This triangle in here with a point here that's on the circle. I won't draw the circle again to confuse it. Um, and I, I recommend pausing the video now if you, if you haven't got this far yourself. You're looking for this length, the modulus of this point to the center. You're looking for this length, can you get it? Um, and if you're still watching, I'll slowly fill in some of the things. What's the length here? Well, the length's three. 
between 0 and minus 3. Uh, that's a right angle, remember. Uh, what's the height here? Well, the height's 2 between um, 0 and 2i. And in fact, we also know the length from here to here. That's a, let me let me write it like this. That's two as well. It's because it's on a circle. And what you're looking for is this guy in here. That's a, let's put it in as Z, modulus of z. We're looking for this length. So how do you, again? How do you solve this? It's just Pythagoras theorem. It's a right angle triangle. Uh, let me let me do it in here. Uh, this whole length here, this entire length is equal to 2 squared plus 3 squared square root. That's what this entire length is, and that's equal to square root 13. Square root uh, 13 in there. So what's this length here? It's just square root 13. Z modulus has to equal square root 13 minus this two and that's the that's the answer to part b um okay i hope i haven't bored you too much well again if you if you weren't able to, if you were able to do this question i doubt you're watching this video um so if you weren't able i hope some of my explanation helped a little i do recommend going into the book and uh, looking at uh, the proof for this i i know students think i don't need the proof but it helps you believe and you really need to believe to remember at least that's how I think of it so you need to remember when you see something like this to change it into something like this and that means distance okay I won't uh, repeat myself anymore uh, thanks for watching if you have any comments please put them in the comment section below I'll do my best to answer all of them thanks for watching and have a great day